But building a tunnel, I mean, LA is like the, the tunnel equivalent of Broadway. Um, we've, we've got earthquakes, we've got uh, uh, oil and gas and methane uh, uh, in, in the soil, like there's still drill oil in LA. Um, and you, you've got uh, sort of sandy, rocky soil. Uh, there's uh, about a million regulatory agencies that you have to satisfy. I mean, essentially, if you can tunnel here, you can tunnel anywhere. <laughs> the, the way the loop would work is that you'd have, you'd have main arteries that are traveling at 150 miles an hour, and only when you want to go to, to an exit would you have an off-ramp. So, so you can travel the vast majority of your journey without stopping at 150 miles an hour, and only slow down when you get to your exit. In terms of, of, of uh, stations, these are, the, the intent here is to have many more stations than you'd have in a subway, so at least 10 or 20 times more stations that, than you'd have with a subway. Um, this is also very important because then you can intersperse the stations throughout the city um, and not dump a ton of traffic in one location. So you can have as many tunnels as you want, and I'm pretty sure everyone in the United States is not going to move to LA. But you could literally build enough tunnels to transport everyone in the United States in LA. There is no limit. But this fundamentally is what we're trying to solve. You'll, you've, we've all been there many, many times. We must sol sol solve this soul-destroying traffic situation. Th this is really a small but very important um, element, is having uh, retractable wheels uh, that uh, when, you, when you're driving down the road normally, they retract and go under the car, you don't even see them. But when you get into the tunnel, they deploy and allow you to go through a narrow tunnel very quickly and effectively like, like a little train.